Hey guys, welcome back to Binsfeld Customs. So today we're going to do a major repair on the She-Hulk Sideshow Collectibles head. Now, the face is fine, but the hair is all mangled. So uh, I was contacted by somebody and what they did is they said that the, the head took a tumble off their shelf. So this part broke, this part broke. Uh, let's see, so th this uh, hair piece broke over here around there. And then what they did is they tried to glue it. And I think this is a two-part epoxy that they use. Which is uh, like that syringe stuff you get like at a Home Depot or hardware store. You mix A and B together. Now if you don't mix that stuff correctly, you get a residue that's tacky. And over here I'm feeling tackiness. So I'm, have a, I'm thinking that maybe when they mix it, this part wasn't mixed correctly. And as you can see, this is the piece that kind of goes there. So this doesn't have any tackiness, but that piece does. So I don't know. i got to kind of rub this, maybe sand this down a little bit. But the face is fine. But sadly... I asked uh, the person that sent it to me that make sure when you ship it to me, you pack it well because it, some people I've had worked in the past where just because it's damaged, they think they can throw it in a box and send it to me. But the problem is stuff gets damaged even more. That creates more work, and then you got to charge for that. It's just there's nothing you can do about that. So luckily when this was shipped to me, these pieces broke off even more, but nothing scraped the face, which is good because we, we're going to salvage the face, nothing's going on. But with this hair... I have to patch it all up and I'm going to repaint the whole hair because I just have to. I got no choice because this is going to get all messy in here. This got some scrapes here and there. You can see some rub offs. This part's all broken here. You know, then I got to put this piece back over on here like that. You know, so I got to repaint all the hair because you, you can see really this piece here how it's all mangled up. And I'm like, you're running my fingernail and I'm catching all the excess glue that's coming out. The same thing over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this attached. There's, there's nothing wrong with this epoxy because it's really strong. But the problem is, is even if I broke this off again to repin it, I would never be able to match it up because whenever something breaks and you put glue, you're still putting a thin layer between each piece so it's never going to line up correctly. There's always going to be like some thickness of glue between those two pieces. So if I break this more, we're going to be spreading it even more. So what my idea is, I'm going to dremel out this, I'm going to dremel out this, and I'll add a pin going here and here, but I'm going to re-sculpt the hair. I have no choice in this matter because it's that much damage. And uh, what I'll probably do is sand this down a little bit first, and then I'm going to dremel out. I'll dremel out over here, and then I'll add this piece over here as well. I think, the, yeah, this goes like that. So as you can see, that thickness. So let's get the... Right. So you can see the thickness between the glue and the hair it's just it's pushing it away so I have no choice but to re-sculpt all that um, so you can also see you can also see that some pieces at tips have wires they do this I don't know why they just kind of put a wire here but not through the whole hair probably because it's where the more, more fragile area is so this is going to have to see, even if you try to push it, it's not lining up correctly because of that wire and the, so I got to kind of Resculpt it. So I'm gonna go out to the garage the next day or whatever. Clean this up a little bit here. Drum out my areas where I'm gonna repin. We'll come back and then I'm gonna show you how we kind of kind of resculpt it and then we'll touch it up with paint. We'll repaint the whole hair and then we're done. So stuff like this, you got no choice. You got to have some sculpting skills or know somebody that kind of kind of patch it or paint it up. You just can't really just match it it's got to be resculpted so uh i will get out into the garage in the next day or so and we'll come back and start working this out okay to give you guys an explanation of what's going on right there i dremeled out some areas and i put in some metal rods so these metal rods are going to help kind of secure it a little bit i got magic sculpt and magic sculpt is much better for using stuff that's going to be really hard to um break uh i like magic sculpt because it's a lot tougher and durable than aves but Aves is better to sculpt with with detailing, whereas Magic Sculpt I really don't like using it so much. So I always use Magic Sculpt for like the core armature of something, and I do Aves over that to kind of sculpt it. So both of them uh, mediums are really great. So you're gonna see me in some fast videos of just filling this in. I might dremel out this area as well with the other stuff if I have some extra Magic Sculpt. I dremeled out the back here as well, so I might put some Magic Sculpt back there. And I'm gonna focus on this area a little bit before I focus on the bangs on the head because this one right here is something I really need to get working because I'm afraid I'll probably snap the bangs if I try that first. So uh, I'm just going to start working this out.
All right, so as you saw, I pretty much thickened up the areas here. Uh, I put some magic sculpt around here. I glued this piece on. I didn't pin this yet, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to glue it. I wanted to get some magic sculpt on there, and then I could Dremel out because I got some thickness now, and maybe I can add a pin in there to secure that piece. Uh, this piece over here is filled in. It's still it's still messy. You got to do all the sculpt work and detailing, but right now we need to secure it. So. It's 11 o'clock in the morning now, uh, maybe by the end of the tonight if I'm still working on stuff because it's kind of a sculpting day anyway, so I'll be dirty and, you know, maybe I could actually start maybe drumming this out and start doing some sculpt work if I have extra aids, see how things go. And also as another tidbit, what I did is I have some old um, Silly Putty from one of my buckets and I put Silly Putty over the face because I didn't want to accidentally, you know, have some residue on my fingers and hit the face or anything. At least I can have the putty just to secure the face, you know. So that's something you got to think about too when you're working on uh, repairs. Uh, you don't want to mess up the stuff more and have to do more repairs. So that's where we're at right now. So we'll come back as this uh, sets up and just keep plugging away. All right, so uh, yesterday I went out in the garage and I primed this up and I sanded it down, make sure I didn't hit anything with the face. So the next step is the bang. So I put two notches here, and then also in this piece I put uh, two notches here. So I'm going to glue this on, and I got to make sure I do this off camera because I want to make sure I don't like put any extra glue. I got to let it sit, and then uh, what's going to happen is you see all these notches up here. I'm going to rebuild in here so it's going to secure it. And then with the little crack underneath there, which is kind of hard to get under, I got to kind of fill that in a little bit. 
and not mess up the face. Now there's a little dust on her, but that's nothing. Because I just sanded some of this part down here just to kind of fill up this crack and stuff. So the dust is nothing. That's just you can wipe that off with a shirt, a uh, soft brush or whatever. But the majority of this is done. I just got to sand this part down here. And looking around here, there's not much more. Uh, there's some marks behind her head and stuff, but that's all going to be repainted anyway. So it's just a matter of getting this piece on. Uh, the, way, the way they do this stuff is uh, some of these uh, statues, like this piece is glued on and this piece is glued on. So they paint the head, they paint the hair, and then what they do is they glue these pieces on afterwards because these are painted too. They don't actually sit there and mask off the face like I'm going to have to mask off. But it just gives you an idea of where we're at. So I'm going to, off camera, I'm going to glue this on and let it sit because i got to come back to this later today. I uh, just want to get this glued on and uh, let it cure for a little bit because uh, even though you hit it with Instaset, sometimes that glue isn't really super cured. I mean, it is, but, and this might break off while I'm working, so I want to make sure this is secured on. So I'll get that going and we'll come back later on and uh, we'll start finishing this up. Alright, so uh, yesterday I went in the garage, I sanded all this down, uh, next step is we're going to paint up the hair, so I got to mask off the face, and I just got to kind of rig up something or figure out how to paint up the hair, because the idea is you would like to have something holding her, and then you could be able to spin her around, but since it's kind of lopsided, I don't want to crush this or use this, and it's a magnet, but I don't have any metal rods that will keep it up, so I got to figure something out, but most of the time is I just kind of lay it on a piece of block of wood like that. And I just paint up the hair and then I touch up this under here. This is pretty much how I do it. So uh, get her all masked up and get her painted. Alright, so uh, we're pretty much done. Uh, I did a little bit of touch up with the paintbrush on the side. I made sure I clear coated it very well. I made sure I hit all my spots that there's nothing showing around. Uh, it's a more richer green that was painted from the factory. A little bit of a difference to her now, but at least it's all repaired up and it's pretty strong. I did a dupe color uh, clear coat over it and then I dulled it down just to give it a nice, um, you know, strong uh, coat on her because you will be picking this up you know with your hands and putting it on the statue to get it in place so I wanted to make sure that none of the paint would scrape off as easily if I didn't have that clear coat on it so that's why you might be seeing a little bit of a shine in the lights but that's okay though because it's uh it's closest to the factory as you can get it it's all repaired up it's pretty strong now and it's ready to go so uh, hopefully just gives you guys some ideas <laughs> a little bit of a piece there and then uh that's a little bit more of a repair than a simple just gluing two pieces of the back together and touching it up with paint. This is a full-blown repair, but looking pretty good. It's a little bit of a different shade of green, but it works. <laughs> 